Hello YouTube, what is up? You're Octic here. There is every single day question on my live stream about scam. Eroctic, what about this? Eroctic, what about that? Eroctic, where is scam? When is it coming out? Are you a game developer? How do you know about that game so much? I'm explorer dude! Dorothy Explorer dude! I am sitting on tons of notes about scam and I'm keeping those secrets for myself. I think it is time to start to talk about scam guys. First thing that you're gonna see when you create your character is that character selection. As you can see you can pick up the age and in the specific age you're gonna have extra attribute points in specific attributes. There are four different attributes in scum strength constitution dexterity and intelligence we're gonna talk about that a little bit later but first let me explain to you how character selection works for example if you have five dexterity that means you're gonna have 10 points to spend into the dexterity skills if you are 20 years old you're gonna have plus two dexterity which means you're gonna have four more skills to spend into dexterity you can slide that scroll and make your character a little bit older which means when your character gets a little bit older let's say on the age of 30 you're gonna lose that one point of dexterity but you're gonna get one point in strength which means you're gonna get plus two skills in strength and plus two skill points in dexterity if you slide even more on age of 40 you're gonna lose dexterity but you're gonna get plus one constitution but if you go on the age of 50 you're gonna start to gain intelligence because you are more smarter right you have more experience now next part you have a body type and your body type is gonna be main source of the biggest amount of the attribute points that you can spend on the skills in, on the next slider and like i said you have four main attributes strength constitution dexterity and intelligence if you go all the way on a muscular you're gonna gain four strength five constitution one dexterity two intelligence which is gonna give us 12 points total plus two points from age and pay closer attention on one small detail he gained one from strength 0.1 from constitution 0.9 from dexterity dexterity and strength went inside of the calculation of those attribute points however his constitution is 0.1 it didn't go in which means that you will need to pay closer attention when you're creating your character because i'm assuming that five attribute points is the cap of the attribute values on the character selection which means if you're gonna go with plus one constitution you cannot gain that plus one constitution on the body type i might be wrong but pay closer attention if that's the case although if you want to have a maximum dexterity you're gonna have one strength five constitution four dexterity and two intelligence which is gonna also give us 12 points plus two points from the age last but not least fat if you're gonna go all the way on a fat, you're gonna have four strength, one constitution, two dexterity, and five intelligence, which is gonna also bring us to 12 points plus two points from the age. So that's how body type works in general. I'm gonna skip uh, color, head type, and all of that uh, decorative bullshit. We are here for the statistics. In the future, after a game is gonna be released, you will be able to pick up floss and crime and i also see some gear area right there i do not know we will see but basically for example you can be a drug addict if you keep drugs rolling in your body you will be satisfied and you're gonna have extra attribute points although if your character will be lacking with the drugs in his body system he's gonna have some drawbacks and you're gonna lose some points which means high risk high reward you can get even more extra attribute points if you keep that character satisfaction rolling so when you're happy with your attribute point balance you can spend those attribute points into the skills this is pretty scuffed and i made my own list so i'm gonna read you all the skills that are gonna be available in the scum under the strength you're gonna have unarmed combat rifles handguns melee archery heavy weapons on the constitution you're gonna have running endurance resistance and swimming in the dexterity you're gonna have stealth weapon throwing driving motorcycling piloting sailing climbing stealing pickpocket 
opening locks and the intelligence you're gonna have awareness sniping medical camouflage tactics programming and electronics survival cooking biochem education and psychology and demolitions which means if you want to be a cook and you want to use the rifles efficiently you're gonna probably pick up fat guy because fat guy has a lot of strength and a lot of intelligence got it Okay, the another thing that I want to point out about this, that there is a lot of intelligence skills, but there is not that many constitution skills, which means it is going to be probably a little bit smarter to have a little bit more extra intelligence points than constitutions. Although all of those attributes have secret passive skills. Under the strength, for example, hidden is a muscle power which means you can carry more or for example under constitution your body is gonna be also more immune to the different illnesses and stuff like that if you have more constitution or dexterity you can reload faster that's already proven and the faster weapon holstering your reaction time your player inertia is gonna be much much faster when you have a lot of dex uh, dexterity and as you can see in the background he's spending those points in the specific stuff and he's unlocking basic and advanced skills i made a simple calculation with that if you do not invest any of the points in the specific skills you're gonna have no skill which means your character is gonna be stupid with those specific skills if you invest one point you're gonna have a basic two points medium three points advanced the higher skill will require more points which means you're gonna need six in total to unlock advanced skill although there is one more extra skill in the game and that is advanced plus with unlocking advanced plus you're gonna need to do specific stuff with the specific skills to unlock that advanced plus and after unlocking that advanced plus you're gonna get that master skill for the individual skills with this example we are gonna go over the intelligence skill awareness on the left side awareness level is no skill on the right side awareness level is advanced and when you have awareness level on advanced you're gonna get this green overlay around the items that you can pick up although daytime and nighttime also affects your awareness which means during the nighttime you're gonna need a little bit more extra awareness to see those outlines on the items and also there is a focus mode focus mode is right click when you're right clicking your sight is much more tunnel visiony and you can see much much better that specific spot that you're aiming at and also the range between you and the item is also affecting your awareness which means the higher awareness you have further you can see the items that are spawned on the map although guy with no skill needs to go a little bit closer to get that outline going now after i explained you everything here is how it actually looks in the real time And now about that advanced plus skill this is the example of the advanced plus for the awareness skill do you see this alert that popped up on the left side of the ui that icon is right there just because you have advanced plus skill unlocked you're gonna unlock that master skill of the awareness when your character is in a danger sometimes you're gonna get that alert that you have a threat near you for example if you have advanced plus unlocked and you're looting and there is some guy that is creeping upon you you're gonna get that alert pop up that somebody is really close to you and you're in a danger and in this example there is a bear chasing that guy which means every single skill that i listed to you is gonna have multiple layers of different skills and master skill for all of those skills which is insane and the another thing that i want to point out about those advanced plus skills is they said that you're gonna need to do specific stuff to unlock those advanced plus 
skills which means if you really want to focus on that awareness advanced plus skill you're gonna need to have it advanced and you're gonna probably need to finish some kind of attunement some kind of a goal achievement in a game for example loot 500 items to unlock that advanced plus mode and once you achieve that goal you're gonna get that advanced plus mode unlocked which means if you really want to have that advanced plus in the rifles you're gonna need to shoot a lot of automatic rifles to unlock that advanced plus mode on the rifles. And the another thing about rifles, for example, if you have advanced rifles, that doesn't mean that you need to have high dexterity to reload faster. If you have a lot of skills invested in the rifles, you're gonna automatically reload faster, holster the weapon faster, although reload stat is individual stat, which means Let's say you have, for example, AKM in your hands. With no skill and with crappy dexterity, reload time is gonna be 5 seconds. With advanced skill on the rifles, reload time is gonna be 3 seconds. With the high dexterity and with the high rifles, you're gonna reload in 1 second. And the most important thing about all of those skills that I mentioned is no matter how you build your character, if you do not do those actions actively during your play session, you're gonna start to forget them. Same thing goes for a learning curve. If you have a lot of points in your rifles and a lot of points in cooking, that doesn't mean those are the only skills that you have in a game. With doing different stuff in a game, you're gonna learn those stuff passively but character selection is giving you that extra edge which means if you really want to be a good chef you can pick up high intelligence high cooking skills and start with the cooking right off a get-go but if you invest a lot of points in that cooking and you do not cook that much your skills from cooking are gonna drop same thing goes for muscles if your character is gonna be a muscular guy you're gonna need to pay closer attention on your metabolism skill in a game and you're gonna need to learn how to shape and form your character body to stay muscular to keep that strength to keep those points in rifles it is pretty complex and people will need to learn a lot of stuff to keep their characters like they want them to be or for example if you're really intelligent and you take a lot of head damage you're gonna become dumber and dumber and your intelligence is gonna drop so you will need to find a player with a high education in psychology to return you that intelligence. We are gonna go over much much more in my future videos so slap that subscribe button man. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Also check me out on livestream. Eroctic out.